Okay, this time we're going to look at the chord sound of the Velt by Dead Mouse. And uh, to start, we'll put a simple fifth chord in an open fifth using an A1, uh, and then the A above that, A2, and the perfect fifth above that, which is E3. Actually, Dead Mouse uses that repeatedly at the beginning of the Velt in the first breakdown. So we'll use that as a starting point for the main progression. If we just copy that over and go into the editor. Now, if we split these, we can make up a chord progression. pattern is fairly regular, pretty consistent that Dead Mouse uses. It might be a good idea to put the rhythm down before moving the notes around. And to bear in mind that sometimes the middle layer has a few more notes in it than the top and bottom. And also, because the patch will be in eighths, the incisions, the cuts in the notes will always be on an eighth. Okay, so once you have a progression that you're satisfied with, it's time to look at actually programming the sound on a synth. We'll just turn that down slightly, about minus seven decibels, so it's not too loud. And you'll want to put a the first oscillator in multi-mode with five voices. So we have five saws in unison. Oh, and a touch of random pitch on Retrolog 0.5% works well. And four cents to tune on the unison source. For the second oscillator, it will be pretty much the same setup. But we'll want a pulse with 75% width. And again, multi-mode, five voices, and around about four cents detune. The levels should be 100% for oscillator one and 50% for oscillator two. And in the modulation matrix, take LFO1 as a source and cut off as a destination with a depth of about 35%. It doesn't have to be exact, but that's roughly the sort of area that will get that type of sound. Then we'll look over at the LFO put it on sync mode and a downward saw wave waveform with 1 over 8 as the rate and we'll have to turn the filter cut off amount down to about 2 kilohertz that's nice 
Okay, to give it a bit more sharpness, we'll go back to the modulation matrix. Use LFO1 again as the source. This time resonance as the destination at about a 50% depth. And for a little added thickness, about 20% distortion on the filter here. Just thickens it up a little bit. Yeah, that sounds nice. So, to brighten it up just a touch, and to give it a bit bit more of a crispy feel, like in the original, we're going to use an exciter, an enhancer. This one is PSP Mix Pack 2's Mix Treble plugin, and we only are interested in the harmonics module with all three knobs up to the top. That's the cue width. The drive. And the first cut. Sorry, first out. With the level on about six decibels and the frequency around eight kilohertz. Effectively, this is like sending the signal to a bus with a high pass filter at around eight kilohertz followed by some drive, some distortion, and something to control the level. So that's it, and here's the sound. <laughs> 